Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to another episode of Life with Marianne and Joe and our continuation of our Christmas 2022 series. And today we're here in the family room continuing with our Ralph Lauren inspired look. And I'm going to be using a tree here that I've had for a while and I've actually spray painted it gold. And I think it will serve as an excellent backdrop to this uh, one particular tree that I'm doing in this one inspired room. Um, I d did it during the summer initially uh, because it you know, makes a lot of fumes, so you want to do that. Uh, now this tree is still in good shape, but it is a pain because I have to stick branch by branch in, but it offers a lot of opportunities for me to do that because it is easier put the to put the lights on. I do one layer at a time and I get the lights on the tree. So. I'm just showing you um, how I tie them up with a twist tie uh, when I do use the tree so that it doesn't just make a big mess in a box and I'll never be able to locate what branch goes in what um, outlet in the main tree trunk. So here is the tree trunk and I'm going to start assembling this tree for my red, black and gold Ralph Lauren designed tree. So I hope you stick around to watch the outcome of this particular tree. And I'll tell you, a lot of times I hesitate using this tree because this the thought of having to put it together, trying to, you know, kind of turns me off. But it's worth it in the end. I hope. I hope you'll agree with me. So we have this gold Santa and I thought, hey, let me incorporate this into the tree topper. It's something that I don't normally do. So I always try to think, what can I do different? And this is one of the things I did different. Next, I'm going to add in gold branches into the tree topper. All right, so I zoomed ahead here. And so what's the secret of a good tree topper? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know, I, I don't know, really. But, um, you know, I just try. Uh, sometimes Marianne likes these. Sometimes she doesn't. Sometimes she says it looks like the uh, costume share war to the uh, Academy Awards. I think the year she won Moonstruck, that big sprung on her head. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, I had these gold picks here and I kind of made it... <laughs> I started with those branches that I showed you, and then I added in a multitude of picks. These right here, which are kind of like uh, drippy, you know, I like those. And then these, which are more like lace-like, and then I have the leaves right here. And then I also have some uh, gold ferns and gold um, whatever kind of leaves those are. And then these with these tiny gold pine cones and so on and this Santa right here now when Marianne came in the room she said to me he's not in the center I don't want him in the center for those of you that are thinking that I was a little bit tilted when I put him in he's supposed to be a little bit off to the side so um hopefully I can make it look like it's on purpose and not like I made a mistake Next, I added a large combination of ribbon. I used the basic red that I've been using, and I started to add in the tartan. And then I began cascading the garland very organically down the tree, kind of like letting it fall where it may, and then tucking it into the branches and pinching it so that it gave a very free-flowing kind of a look. That's, that's the look that I was looking for in this particular tree. Next, a bin of gold ornaments. And I began placing those in, especially those big ones that I wanted to use first. Next, red. Followed by the black ornaments. I'm adding in lots of berry picks to lend to a natural kind of a look. And if you've seen the rest of this room, you know that I've been incorporating musical instruments, especially French horns here and there, so this is perfect addition for the tree. I'm looking for that Ralph Lauren look, so I took these pair of old suitcases and I'm going to actually make a little village in there. First thing was to create a couple of levels with boxes. Next, I put in a snow blanket to cover up those boxes. And now I added in a couple of houses with some lights and the trees to complete the little scene in the suitcase. 
For a finishing touch on the tree, I added some dangling black beads and I also added, added some dangling red. For more Ralph Lauren look, I used a faux fur blanket for the tree skirt and I thought it really added that touch that really brings home the look of Ralph Lauren. Take a look at the tree. I think it is a good representation of that Ralph Lauren look. It is masculine looking, it is deep in color, and it is rich looking with that touch of that old world look. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this little video of my Ralph Lauren inspired tree. And like always, please subscribe. It's free. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Tell me what you think. And I'll be seeing you really soon with the next video. I still have so much to do. I can't believe it. All right, everybody. Take care. Oh, P.S. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.